now going live fantastic so hello and welcome for the people who are finding this pop up on their screen on on Facebook and uh, extending a hello as well to people who find this video after the event because you tend to be the people who see the first minute or so of the video while it's popping up on everybody's notifications I haven't got any sign that people have joined on there yet okay great it's starting starting to reach people hey there Claire from Staffordshire fantastic good to see you hello everybody who's joining on the Facebook live video as well do let us know in the the comments or in the yeah well in the comments let us know in the comments where you're joining in from we can get a sense of how wide this circle stretches and spreads and uh, yeah just let us know you're there as well by sending up a bubble either a thumb or a heart or a laughy face or something like that hey Amanda welcome from Scotland great to see you here brilliant welcome Bernadette on this dark dark night yes it is it is we've been watching these evenings as we've started getting gradually gradually darker uh, to the point where I think it was the last circle was the uh, the night first night where we started in complete darkness and here we go going deeper into the long dark of winter so it's uh, we'll be honoring this this journey into the dark of winter in this circle as well this evening with a song at the end Kim joining in from France hi there from Cheshire hi from London Lindy joining from Scotland and your drum with you there fantastic so lovely to it's it's a wide circle we, I won't be able to hear your drum but it's lovely to be in circle with with you with your drum you were joining in from Lancashire Sue from Morecambe fantastic Lynn joining in and Luke from York Oh, we've got some more people joining the Zoom. Wonderful. We'll just give it a, a couple of minutes for everybody to arrive. Then we can then we can settle. And we start the evening with just a little bit of an opening. A moment to ground and centre. Um, and so if you if you do smudge and you've got smudge herbs uh, in your house at somewhere might be handy to have those if you're wanting just to smudge at the start as we connect in as a circle. Natalie from France. Phoebe, great to see you again from San Francisco. Christine again from, from Gisborough, fantastic. Wonderful. Really lovely to see the kind of the the circle, the group, the community kind of returning each fortnight when we have these and seeing all of the regular names and, and welcoming more people each time as well who are joining on with these. So hi there Jan from Liverpool as well. Wonderful Penny in Wiltshire, Emma in London. Brilliant. Spread in this circle far and wide. And these drums will be singing out in this far wide circle. Sharing their healing resonating all, all around. Look, that was Adele from Edinburgh. Maggie from North Kilworth, welcome. Danny from Kent. Lovely to see you on here again. Stephen from London. Excellent. Hi. Well, hello, welcome everybody who's coming along. It uh, feels great to be back into rhythm with these. And we had a very busy September with other events going on and other things happening. And uh, 
and then we had to kind of drop out of one of the the fortnightly circles but these fortnightly circles have been continuing since the spring equinox more or less um sometimes with extra circles uh, uh kind of put in in addition and uh, we'll be continuing these again on the second um tuesday and the last tuesday of the month going forward as well really fantastic there's a, a question that i kind of want to put into the the group and i really kind of welcome anybody dropping any messages um to me about this is there's kind of i had a couple of questions in the week from people asking where can they you know where do they find out the details they'd heard this was happening and um i pop things out on the newsletter and i pop things out on the page as much as i can but if there's another way or another kind of easy way of uh, that we can share the post out about it might be if I were to create an event or something like that, let us know if there are easier ways where you can find the details for this um, that I'm missing. And if, if, if there is a way that's easier, which will kind of help people find these circles easy, more easily, um, then we can look and put that in place. So do do give me some feedback on that with what's easiest for you. But um, if you're not already signed up to the newsletter, on the Facebook live bit, you might not see it till afterwards, but there's a blurb at the top or it might appear at the side or something like that at the moment with where you're watching and the details for the newsletter are in there as well because you get all of the other information of, of other things that are happening as well all right so we've got carol as well welcome from uxbridge we've got uh gilly joining for the first time in fife scotland fantastic lovely to see you Ah, there you are. Lovely to see you. And Gillian's posted, you've shared this. Thank you very much. Yeah, and that's another reminder. Please, uh, please do help out by sharing this video. Um, a lot of people find it on different groups and things like that when people have shared it before or when there's been messages about it before and then can't find where they saw the note. So it, it really helps if people are able to just click share on the, particularly the Facebook Live video. Great. Hey there, Kate from Milan. All right, so I, I will make a start. Hey there, Dharma in Derbyshire. We'll make a start and, uh, you know, continue rolling those welcomes to, to anybody else who joins in. But uh, for all of us here, let's just take a moment just to, just to really arrive in this space. I, I emphasize this point each time because I think it's important, you know, particularly now where we're doing a lot of things online and on Zoom and we can go from one room in the house to another. We don't have that moment in ourselves where we go out of the house or where we leave our normal routine and go to the place where we can gather for these circles and groups. And so uh, we arrive busy minded and busy, you know, all our energy very busy and then come and sit down. And so, you know, we may be quite used to all these practices of grounding and centering, but it's just because of everything going on within the 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 energy fog of what we've been doing through the rest of the day it's going to just take an extra bit of focus and effort and attention to grounding so whatever that is the best way of doing that is for you you may want to just bring your attention to your breath something we can all do And just take some grounding, deepening breaths. And just breathing that little bit more into our bellies. Just to really breathe our energy into our body and our awareness into our body and helping us drop out of our heads and into a deeper place within us. If you tend to work with visualizations, you might want to, to visualize with that breath, that energy going from your legs down out through the bottom of your feet and your toes 
of tree roots going down into the earth pushing through the stones and the soil through the deep earth and as you breathe feeling that grounding red energy rising Those tree roots going down into the earth as we continue to breathe. We might continue that with our branches reaching up to the heavens, to the skies above. And as we breathe, we also draw in that white light energy, we'll bringing that grounding red from the earth and that white light energy from above, and just weaving those energies within ourselves. And for anybody who is working with the plant spirits, with the herbs, the healing and cleansing herbs for smudging, remember in doing so we give that prayer, that asking to the plant spirits, that prayer of thanks as we ask for their energies of healing and cleansing to help lift away any of the stresses of the day. to help us be present this evening with each other. To be present and focused. And as always for everybody who's joining in with this, in this circle, who are joining in with us now, and everybody who's joining with us after the circle, who find the video, we continue to leave this to smolder just behind us here so those prayers can carry out and around the circle, to carry on sharing those prayers for grounding, for centering, healing and cleansing, so that we can really be here in this space for what we need this evening to connect in this circle with the drum and with one another. So as we do drop down into that deeper heart space, we've said the welcomes for one another in the circle here and there's a few more who have joined uh, while I've just been doing the smudging and grounding. But let's also welcome and acknowledge the element starting with the earth beneath us with mother earth the earth that holds us and heals us and guides us in our journey through life we honor that land that we walk on that now here is cooling as the energy and holds that energy holds that potential as we move into the winter I want to honour the winds, the element of air, with those winds that blow, quite blustily blowing the, uh, the leaves off the trees in this autumn. And with that as well I honour my breath. And the exhale, and that release. I honour the waters, for all of those waters that flow from the earth and the sacred springs to the waters that fall as the rains and flow through the rivers and streams and out to the sea and honouring that element of flow within myself, within all of us. And to the fires we're still within the uh, within this space of Sawe in this space of the the thin veil, as we soon kind of come to the uh, the dark moon of, of Sawe. But we we honour the element of fire in this ceremony or this time of year, this celebration of the fires. 
Hiding in the background there, everybody. As we honour the celebration of fire, when we honour all of those fires within us, those fires of cleansing, those fires of healing, those fires of transformation, those fires of illumination, and to all the spirits of fire, all the gifts and medicine that fire brings. Let us in this circle as well honour and acknowledge all of our unseen guides, healers, teachers and inspirers, all of those spirit allies that work with us and work through us. And particularly, as I say, we're in this kind of time of Samhain. Let us honour the ancestors. Let us honour and remember all of our own ancestors, those that have gone before us in our own bloodlines. Let's honour the ancestors of the lands where we are joining this circle on and honour and acknowledge the first peoples of those lands. And let's honour and acknowledge the ancestors of these spiritual traditions. Honour them and thank them that we have this space here where we can connect with the sacred. So for this whole circle, for all of those who are joining now and all of these who are joining later, we call to all of the spirits of the north and the east and the south and the west and ask the circle to be blessed. To the earth below and sky above, fill the circle with purest love. Blessed be. Blessed be. Aho. Amen. Cheers, whatever is the right way for you for ending prayers. And with that, Heidi in the background there had her own things to say. <laughs> had her own contribution to the opening there. Singing the song of her ancestors and her peoples, bless her. Um, Heidi's my dog, she doesn't tend to come on camera very much. Um, but... Uh, she occasionally will make herself known. I don't know if she's heard a firework or something like that. We're still going on um, on the street. But uh, you may occasionally hear her in the background. She might have just been wanting to share in the opening prayer there. All right. Well, gosh, welcome to all the people who have joined on Facebook. I, I kind of can could see a lot of the messages going up there. Um, as we'd already started and I'll uh, be able to kind of see and say hello to you afterwards if I've, uh, if I've missed you arriving. But let us, as we've opened the space here, let us open the space also with uh, a round of drumming, a unity round of drumming to connect here in this circle. And um, yeah, with, with the focus is tonight, I guess it's it's acknowledging that we kind of are in a world where there is a lot going on that divides us. And so to give this particular focus on unity here in this circle, with all of us spreading far and wide in this really, really wide open circle here tonight. Let us let the drums call out and connect with one another. And while we can't be in physical presence with each other let us feel that connection on that heart level and so for all of those as well who are joining without drums but are um, joining with their their open heart and uh, letting that drum beat within their chest we'll uh, connect in all together as a circle um, just responding to a message I see up there Julia's talking about uh, not being able to get onto Zoom I've only recently clicked the button that's letting you in from the waiting room because I hadn't spotted that there was three of you left in the waiting room so it may be connecting you now um, and welcome those who have just joined in from the waiting room uh, on the, the Zoom call there let's start with our drumming for unity
just deepening my breath there just to uh, yeah bring myself back from there and uh, yeah just deepen your breath a bit to bring yourself back into your body I'm gonna invite Heidi upstairs she would be better in here with us Are you going to come on camera after you've been part of the show? You can jump up. You can just about see her. <laughs> That's the voice you could hear in the background there. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough time of year for for dogs with the fireworks. All right. I um. How are you feeling after that round? Let us let us feedback in in the if either in the the chat section on uh, on Zoom or on um, the comment section on Facebook. Let us know how you're doing. How you're feeling from that round of drumming? Uh, lots of messages coming in for Heidi there. Bless her. <laughs> Somebody's seen a wolf on their journey. Well, she's got wolf ancestors, definitely. Right, some of the messages coming in. So people feeling relaxed and serene and calm. I think the, the Facebook Live messages take a little while. Here we go, thanks Adele. Very chilled. Yes, it just, uh, it's, uh, sorry, the beep's coming up there. Um, yeah, the first round of drumming often is that kind of, you know, settling into the evening. We start to really arrive and we can really settle in with the voice of the drum. Yeah. There was a point in the, I'll say in the middle of that, where there was kind of a real, a real warmth came over. And um, yeah, a big gratitude for everybody coming along. And I, I kind of, I've had some really lovely messages from people over the year a number of times. Um, to do with this point of yes during lockdown there's been kind of a, a disruption to our normal kind of chance and opportunities to get out and drum and so it's been lovely to have this space fortnightly where you know there's there has been a chance where we can all kind of you know as a reminder for each other have this space just to stop just to settle in with ourselves and connect with something a bit a bit beyond kind of our our normal days with the voice of the drum hey so we've got people uh, relaxed and present with bundles of love and blessings feeling peaceful yeah that, that kind of grounding drumming for the start there grateful to be part of the community And more love for Heidi. <laughs> yeah, and another saying about feeling very relaxed. Fantastic, fantastic. And yes, hello for the people who are just joining on now. All right. So the the evenings kind of tend to have um, somewhat of a. Um, a kind of a natural rhythm that's kind of develops over time with them where uh, you know we ha we have some time to connect as a circle we have a round for healing and we have often a song 
and there tends to be something of the even that's focusing on where we are you know what's going on out and around us in terms of in the land in terms of the the seasons in terms of the, what's what's changing out there in the land as a way to connect us in there um, but something's prompted me to do something a little bit different this evening it's to do with a post that I was sent earlier and um, uh, there's a post that Jonathan Horowitz put up earlier that I'd like to I'll maybe read maybe not all of it but I'll read I'll read some of it um, which is not so much to do with what's going out on the land but is what's going on in the human world at the moment particularly um, in light of the uh, American election and what that that means in terms of kind of you know the, the impact that what's going on there has on the wider culture and um, it's incredibly important I think throughout the year and throughout the work that we do here in this space to connect with the land and ground ourselves in the land and uh, keep ourselves in those rhythms but it's also we, we can get to a point where we forget and ignore what else is going on and what else is impacting us and uh, and how we are part of that interweaving story within this culture um, so I'm just gonna bring up on my screen here um, for a second the um, the post from Jonathan Horowitz and and I say maybe not read all of it but maybe read a bit a bit of it so Jonathan Horowitz posted seven hours ago dear friends we continue to be extremely concerned about the state of democracy in the USA and the extreme effect this might have on peace and the environment worldwide this is not just an issue for the US but for democracy and the environment worldwide it is a crucial time for working for a healthy world for us all. We need to clearly stand up against the threats and these are global issues which are seen also in other countries and are trying to spread. With the eyes of the world on the US at the moment it is crucial that, it, that all is po it is crucial all that is possible is done so that truth, love and peace will prevail. Um, I'm going to skip a bit. The next kind of bit is, as shamanic practitioners and animists, we will keep drumming, singing and rattling all this week with the intention of bringing respect, truth and love back to the world scene. We will be so grateful if you join with us in spirits in whatever way is right for you. Whatever your personal politics, it's a time to stand up in support of democracy as a peaceful power that recognises and respects people and the natural environment. Now, there's probably a whole load that I could kind of go off on a different tangent in terms of my own interpretation of, of what I feel is kind of going on. Um, but I definitely, I definitely kind of join with John, Jonathan in that, in that this is a time where we to centre on and to call on respect truth and love to guide us going forwards and for the next round of drumming because this is not just to do with what's going on in the political scene i think this is something this is going on and weaving in and out and throughout everything that's going on it, within our personal relationships and in groups um, i'm currently in in a, a, a number of different spaces where we're seeing something of this dynamic playing out. A call to respect truth and love, I, uh, I think is something that would be kind of a, a, a valuable focus for the next round of drumming. Because we can look at what's going on within the land and within the seasons and keep ourselves in tune with that. And we've got a nice cheerful song at the end that that is a bit of a reminder to that and with the land. But yeah, a call to respect, truth and love. And, you know, I, I, I kind of just see a post go up there of, of please no politics. And I do hear that people um, often try and, you know, often will welcome any escape from politics when they can. I, I believe that there is a, a real part and people will see this in a lot of what I do and share. 
you know, there, there isn't a kind of a gap in my working with spiritual practice from politics and from from life. I think there is a value in spiritual practices that help give us a buffer and a space away from the difficulties and challenges of life. Um, but I, I think there is a real place for spiritual practice and traditions and our connection with the sacred in with all of these big world issues and part of the sickness in our culture is that we separated there's the sacred and spiritual and the feeling of connection with one another and here is the political and I think we need to bring that recognition of our sacred unity and our oneness back together in all of these and I believe this is kind of where I, I sit within this call here of bringing respect truth and love back to back to the center of this and as I say this post or this this call is come from Jonathan Horowitz in relation to the uh, the US elections but I do believe that there is something that is playing out there in that that is playing out in all parts around the culture and uh, yeah I think that same call is something that it would be uh, quite important for us all to uh, to, to, to bring those 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 elements in there so I'd like to kind of have our next round of drumming for respect truth and love and people might notice me on different drumming circles I pick up different drums for different things I have drums that I use for uh, for circles or for journeys and I have drums that I use for healing and this is particularly a a, a healing round here as we call in with respect truth and love so yes I've just reached for my healing drum so let's drum together for respect truth and love
just again, just deepen your breath a bit just to bring yourself back and each time just breathing your energy and your awareness back into your body that little bit more all the way down to your fingertips and toes maybe give your body just a little bit of a move Bring yourself back. And let us know when you're back. I can I can sort of see faces. Give us a wave if uh, just in case your face is in the distance there on Zoom. Let us know when you when you're back. Oh, might be that my screen's frozen. I can't see any waves. Or well, everybody still. Off in a different world. On Zoom, give us a wave if you're if you're back. Yeah, I think my screen froze for a moment. Hey, fantastic! I can see all the waves there, and let us know on the on Facebook. Send up a bubble. Let us know that you're back, and let us know in the in the comments. Yeah, send up a bubble with a, a thumb or a heart. I can see some people are coming back there. Um, but let us know in the comments how you how you're feeling and how that round of drumming was for you. All right, fantastic. I can see people back. Oh, thanks, people who are on on Facebook trying to do a bit of a wave. Just, just love, truth, and respect. Yeah, people are feeling a lot of power coming through through that round of drumming. People are talking about it as being very much into the heart chakra. A lot of other people. Talking about really feeling a lot of power from that beautiful and healing. Yeah, people are feeling really a lot from that connection and with those those three intents. That one intent that had the three intents there. Somebody else on, on Zoom had their dogs joining in with them. <laughs> Others feeling very peaceful. Others found that quite stirring. Kara's feeling it aching from drumming was that kind of there was a comment a bit further up where you had said that as well killing your shoulder I'll, I'll kind of speak to that in just a second others talking about it being harmonizing yeah feeling quite a lot of power behind that then phoebe Thanks for that, Phoebe. I did kind of, you, you were sort of in the back of my mind being kind of the, the person that we know on the circle from the US while we're here talking about it. It was very much, very conscious of that as I was raising the topic. So thanks for that. The energy over here in the States has definitely been wild and this round resonated a lot. So, you know, thank you for, for kind of feedback on that. And I hope that uh, connected into something there for you as well. Dharma, the moments after the drum are blissful. Absolutely. It's one of the things I love with kind of, especially when there's a whole group of people drumming and around, but when you're drumming yourself, that the turning to silence or that moment while the drum is still vibrating. You know, like you have it with singing bowls. It's very kind of noticeable with singing bowls. You can play them and you can hear that sound that comes in from the corners of the room with the singing bowl. Um, there's something like that with the drums when the drums have been going for a while you get that that real resonance just filling the room and it's those moments at the end of a drumming circle where they just slowly just just go to where they need to where you can feel that energy really being held there in the room yeah i completely agree with you that's definitely one of my favorite spaces i'm always conscious of that after a round of drumming of how quickly i uh 
remind or encourage you for breathing. It's just like, hang on, your drum might, your, your room might still be buzzing at that point. <laughs> Fantastic. <sighs> yeah, I just want to speak to, uh, the message has gone, I think it was Cara had, had written it, to do with aching shoulders. With playing the drum, it's really, uh, you know, do, do you, you can play the drums with, with your shoulders really relaxed. With the drum in one hand, in terms of where you hold it on your body, you can just have the, the, your arm rested down on one side of you. If you need to drop your elbow into your side a little bit just to angle it if where you're sitting you can bring up a knee so your your um, elbow is just rested on your knee as long as the drum is free floating and can completely vibrate and resonate then that's fine it takes the pressure off that shoulder and with the other hand with the beater It's, it's not a, a shoulder movement, it's not an elbow movement. You can really let that relax by your side. And it's all just in the, the hand and the forearm, just, just knocking the beater backwards and forwards. So if you're, you're feeling your shoulders burning or you're feeling your shoulders aching, um, see what you can do in terms of to support the arm that's got the drum. So either your elbow on your side or on your lap or, or something like that. So it's not your shoulder holding it. And this side as well, you can just relax that down and play. There's um, you know, always things with posture and, and things like that, but you know, you can uh, just just take the weight off the shoulders. It will make it far more comfortable for drumming. Just uh, want to go to a couple more of the comments on there. Um, so others saying profound and powerful. Simply happy to be here with you all. Really lovely to see you here as well, Bruna. power and very grounding and there we are I think we're back to that all right um let me think of what news and updates just to let you know of um at the top of the Facebook page as usual I put in all of the links that are different things that are going on um if you're not subscribed to the newsletter please do subscribe to the newsletter you get updates on all of this usually a couple of days before the drum circle so it's a handy reminder um, of when they are because you'll you'll find out just a couple of days before to uh, um, get you back into uh, back into the mindset for it the next one that we'll be having will be at the end of this month on the 24th so the last Tuesday of the month and then I'll let you know then what the December dates are um, as well what I've got is as a lot of people might have seen already, obviously the autumn drum birthing workshops have not been able to go ahead. And so everybody who was on those workshops, I've, I've spoken to by email um, with some people who are making their drums at home. So I've um, I've created on with on the Heron Drums online courses, I've created a online uh, uh, drum making kind of video tutorial explaining as well as much of the kind of ritual and ceremonial parts of it ways that you can weave your prayers and your intentions into the drum making but that's now finished it's taken a little bit longer all of this video editing stuff has been a, a good fun learning curve this year um, but it's uh, it's all finished and up there and I will be adding kind of some extra bits to it probably over time um, but uh, for, for anybody who's, I've mentioned that to before, who's been waiting for that, that is there on the Heron Drums course pages. Um, I've also got the, the link on there for the, um, for the Ancient Roots course pages, um, which the most recent things that have gone up there, and some things that I've been recording this week um, for the online membership, um, where we, there's a number of different sections on there for the membership with videos going up each month so as as always all of the links are in there one of the real ways that uh, all of you joining on here can really help me out at this this time of year well this time this time of year this time during lockdown where all of my events aren't able to happen and things like that is just if you're able to share any links 
you know, whether it's a link to this live stream, whether it's a link to one of the web pages or something like that. If there's a, a group that you're part of or on your own profile, all of those bits, it's just, just little ways that you're able to, to help out from these evenings. So um, all of those are at the top of the Facebook page um, if you're wanting to have a look at any of those. That's, those are just my updates there. It's the only things I've got extra to, uh, to mention. So, all right. What we have now then for the evening is, uh, let's go to our healing round. Let's have a, a round of drumming where, you know, we've talked about on here in from our first rounds of drumming that we're feeling a lot more grounded. We're feeling kind of really connected in with that, that, that power a place for ourselves. Um, now let's drum some love and some strength to others who aren't able to join on the video tonight. Friends, family, people we care about who could do with some love and strength directed to them. And what we would do often with this when we do this in circle is we would say their names into the circle. Uh, just their first name say but just just so that they're in the space and being held by the circle this circle here stretching over continents all around the world um, and just the same if there are anybody that comes to your mind that we want to drum some love and some strength to uh, using the the chat or the comment section just pop I, I really want things to be a kind of a uh, non-identifiable as it were so you know if you can just put initials um, or first names or something like that um, just so that they're in the circle but yes it's kind of to keep things so uh, please don't tag people <laughs> is all I say if, uh... but yeah and in this we we just drum that love and that strength to them we drum with those prayers that the the drum beats will ripple out and carry that energy and that prayer to all of those who are needing it. And at the moment, with with things, with lockdowns, with different concerns that there are around that to do with health and to do with uh, work and to do with all sorts of parts of our our well-being broadly and we all know somebody who could do some extra love and strength sent to them so let's give a another little moment just if there's any other people who come to your mind And it's always, I often mention this, but it's also important to acknowledge um, when that's yourself, when actually at the moment, what the person who, you know, while well, you're there thinking, who can I send love and strength to? It's just that actually the person that you need to just pop into that circle there might be yourself. So if that's, if that's there for you, that actually what you're needing is to be held by the circle just to have some of that love and strength that's been rippled out in the circle here. Please, uh, yeah, please, you know, speak that for yourself. And yeah, super, I see some people on Zoom have already done that, that's great. So for all of those that we've named, for those people who have popped them in the comments section there, for all of those that come to our minds and our hearts, let's just drum some love and some strength.
the love and strength out to, to all those named and all of those that we were holding in our minds and hearts during that. Yeah, may those ripples of those drums go out and be shared and received in whatever way is right for for those that they reach. Alright. <laughs> Give your body a little bit of a move and a turn around and a twist and a, just to get a bit of bit of yourself back into your body no all of yourself back into your body <laughs> it's uh, really take a moment just to really kind of ground back in I've got people already commenting you know talking about that being another very powerful one okay fantastic did let us know on on Facebook if you're back either by a thumbs up or a heart emoji of some sort in the bubbles and uh, or pop a comment in there if you can Hi, oh, fantastic Uh, fantastic even for those who are not able to drum still being able to connect in with the the healing of that round there I was really feeling that kind of beauty and that gentleness of it others it feeling very connecting Thor, same for Zoom. Oh, it's in the waiting room at the moment. Thor, oh, let me just add that in there. You can join in for the song at the end. Adele and Dharma both saying lovely. I see your question there, Amanda, on Zoom. I'll, I'll, I will get to that question in just a second. Just getting a sense of uh, everybody returning. Okay, super. I can see more of the thumbs and hearts going up on the side there. And in the comment section. Are the same. Really feeling the healing from that. Okay. Yeah, do do let us know if you haven't already how you're feeling from that round and how you're feeling as we have deepened with the drumming through the evening. We're going to end on a a nice uh, joyous energy song. Uh, Neve has commented saying she stumbled across this walking through the forest in the dark with the dogs. How amazing. <laughs> Don't let the drum beats kind of uh, of the unseen ones kind of there in the woods distract you off down a different path. And Kara much easier in the shoulder. Fantastic. Fantastic. Amanda, your question was to do with the drum making workshop and does that include the materials? I do have the materials uh, and the materials can be ordered through the Heron Drums website. The online courses goes on a slightly different website which is because the, it, my own website can't hold a, an online course platform. So it goes on to the Thinkific. So there's the, the online course for the drum making and then there's the drum uh, which is on herondrums.thinkific.com and that link is on the Facebook blurb and then uh, all of the materials except still uh, 
not uh, not got any stag available but um all of the other materials are available at the moment um are there on the the herondrums.co.uk website it's a bit confusing it being in two places but i haven't worked out a way to link everything up in a bundle or anything like that at the moment um once there becomes a, a way of doing it i'll uh, i'll do that because that would make it easier for people but um yeah if you, if you kind of wanted any more info on those do drop us a message on the facebook page or by email and i can kind of you know, more specifically point you to to things all right Cara, I'm pleased to see that that was much easier on your shoulder. There was part of me part way through that that was really thinking of you and thinking that I should what I should have said was pop your drum down and just receive on this one. But I'm glad you you gave it a go and that you found that easier on your shoulder. That's uh, that will hopefully will continue to be much easier on your shoulder drumming hereafter. All right. So the song that I want us to close with, some of you have heard before, I know I've done it once at one of the uh, the circles that we've had here. I hope I've not done it more than once because if, it's, if this ends up being the third or fourth time I've done it, I don't know, it might start seeming like I'm running out of songs. Um, but I've expressed before that this is one of my favourites. It speaks to this time of the year as the days are going darker and uh, and the leaves falling and it's nice and cheerful which uh, I think culturally we're not in we're kind of uh, yeah culturally there isn't a kind of it's not normally seen as as we go into the dark the time to get cheerful uh, but many people who work with these magical ways do acknowledge this time of the year as we go into the dark as being that powerful magical time that journey as we go within ourselves and it is a time of year of healing, of letting go, of that deep dive within ourselves, the time of uh, shadow work, deep dreaming, introspection, reflection, and from that comes powerful growth. So before we, the days start getting longer, which will happen again as these uh, wheels turn, uh, let's just honour this, this journey into the dark. The song is a bit like a sea shanty. As I've said before, for those who have uh, uh, heard it, it's the hey ho, darker grow the days. And it's a very difficult one to end. I don't think we normally end it the same way twice. Sometimes we speed it up, sometimes we slow it down. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how we can end it today. Otherwise, we might be carrying on until next week. But the words for it are hey ho, darker grow the days, and the winds blow the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling. Hear the spirits calling. And when I say about the sea shanty style of it, um, you'll get what I mean when we get going. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll begin, um, and then I'll join in with the drum. Join in and sing, sing it strong at home. Let me just go with this for a few minutes. Excellent. More people loving this song. Great. It's not just all. It's not all just self-indulgence from my side. Then that's good to hear. All right. I think I need to drum along, otherwise the the rhythm of the song will change if I start drumming differently. Hey ho, darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey. Darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey ho, darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey ho, darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey ho, darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey ho, darker grow the days, and the wind blows the rain across the land. See the leaves are falling, hear the spirits calling. Hey, Darker grow 
the days and the wind blows the rain across the land see the leaves are falling hear the spirits calling hey ho darker grow the days and the wind blows the rain across the land see the leaves are falling hear the spirits calling hey ho darker grow the days and the wind blows the rain across the land see the leaves are falling hear the spirits calling hey ho darker grow the days and the wind blows the rain across the land see the leaves are falling hear the spirits calling hey ho darker grow the days and the wind blows the rain across the land see the leaves are falling Never end the, end the song the same way twice. Ah. But as we go into the coming days and weeks, and as we deepen into the dark of winter, may we hear the spirits calling through the darkness. May we hear the spirits calling to us. May we hear that call from deep within us as we deepen into this time of introspection, this time of healing. This time of connecting with our, our deep self and our deep purpose. May we continue to hear and feel that support of our ancestors and the ancestors of this land and these ancestors of our spiritual heritage. Let us continue to feel the guidance and be open to receive and, and notice the guidance of the spirits that work with us and those spirit allies that work with us. And as we connect in with and honour the season, may we feel that feel supported to go on that journey, to honour that part of ourselves and those parts of ourselves as we go into the coming months. May we really receive, accept and integrate the healing that has been felt move around this circle this evening. As we honour these sacred drums, we honour them for their healing, for their medicine, for everything they share with us. And may we continue to, to carry their strength and healing into the coming days and weeks until we can be here together in this circle. And may that continue to ripple out and be felt by others who need it. Blessed be. And thank you, thank you everybody. Thanks once again for everybody who's joined on this evening. I echo what I said earlier in terms of my gratitude for everybody who 
who comes and joins in with this circle. It's really, really lovely. And as I've kind of mentioned, it feels very much like, you know, there is a community of regular folks here, of people that I see in the comment section and people I see in faces there on Zoom. And lovely as well, really lovely to kind of hear from people who are looking to find this each week and for those who do find us and to see all the new faces and the, the new friends who join the circle. As I mentioned, the next one will be on the 24th of, uh, of November. And uh, if, you've, if there's any ideas or suggestions of other ways to get the message up and about um, so that people who are looking for it find it, um, let me know and I'll see if I can, I can do something with that. Yeah, thank you all very much. With the comments on Facebook, I'll uh, when I get a chance, I'll have a look through. So if there's any questions or comments I'll have missed, I'll see if I can catch them then. As always, on the Facebook page or on emails is the other ways of uh, of getting in contact. So uh, yeah, really, really lovely to to have this evening with you all again, and look forward to joining you again on the twenty fourth. Okay, thank you very much, everybody.